never recover. And in the last episode, uh, we ended up getting here. We ended up uh, encountering a Krozma here at uh, on Mount Lanakila. Then we went and we caught um, uh, Lunala because Gladian told us where Lily was. And we went to Lily and Lu she wanted us to f capture Lu uh, Nebi. So anyways, I mentioned that I don't I don't even remember if I kept it in. I may cut this out. But I, I clicked on him and then I accidentally skipped through his text. It was hitting B. So, like, I could skip through it and I wouldn't accidentally talk to him again. So, anyway, we'll talk to him because he says something. There's skill trainers all over the place. If you can beat me, I'll show you my full power, too. Where are they? Let's see. You've been beating the trainers at Ulu Ulu Meadow, Pony Plains, Pony Wilds, and that's about it. You think to defeat them all? Yeah. So, that's, like, I believe all the trainers, once you've defeated all of the trainers in that place... I think I was trying to see what types there were, so I could build a team that was decent, and, um, I remember that three of them were the same. I didn't, there's one of them that's different. It's the one all the way over to the left. I don't know what it is, though. I think it's the same symbol. It just, especially me, Tens moves to be hard, seven battles in there. Good luck, Lily, and write you. I had to come in here, and then I lost to a trainer. I went to Ace Arola. Um, so I just let her take out all my Pokemon. So anyways... This one's the new one. I don't know what symbol that was. I believe it was the same symbol but orange back in the original. So uh, it, obviously that person's taking the place of Hala. This is Olivia because that's I'm pretty sure that's still a rock. Um, this is Acerola. And this is the Flying Girl. So since I write you up front, we'll just go do the Flying Girl. Why not? Kahili. I really like the green though. So here you are. Why don't we see the wind's favorite day? You or me? I have the same team I did last time. I didn't change it. Hey, man. Hello, Lana Lola. Once again, my name is Keely. If you give us a champion the island challenge, just like you, having the world to improve my skills as a trainer and as a golfer. When I had made a Pokemon League, I came flying back to serve Lola. I looked up my fantastic flying type team. Was there any ever ever any point we actually met um, <clears throat> her in another game? Would make sense completely if we just have if she's just an, uh, a random person. I don't know. She just seems like someone we would have met before Sun and Moon. I trained everyone up to fifty five though. Wow, you survived that. That'll hurt. Don't tell me this is how this shit's gonna be, man. And you're gonna full restore. Uh, Judy, please do over half. Damn it, man. Okay, this spray bird's gonna hurt really bad. Judy may go down. No, Judy's a beast, man. Raichu's just got terrible defenses. I also trained... I retrained... Now, how did you outspeed me? She didn't lower my speed. That doesn't make any sense. I don't really feel like calcing it. It could be a Krokorok situation. So I'm just gonna T-bolt it. Braviary is kind of bulky. I could look up its base speed. I didn't. I don't think it's that fast, though. I guess I just kind of assumed it wasn't that fast. Ah, I forgot to turn off the XP share. Dang it. All right, next up is Halucha. We'll stay in, I think. Base A. I mean, that don't, I don't freaking damn it. Alright, well, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt or Psychic would do the same amount of damage, and it's still one shot, so that's good. Paralyze Hex, you the best. I just wish your defenses were better. Alright, next up, you're out of Mandibuzz. I'm gonna send in my Fairy type. Because I know for damn sure you'll have a Thunderbolt. Maybe you wouldn't have lived the Z Thunderbolt. But, I got my bully in here because bully can hit it with a play rough. I don't really know what this thing can do to me. I suppose we'll see. Brave Bird. Not that much. You're going to go for Flatter. Well, that's going to be unfortunate. Come on, buddy. Break through the confusion, please. Yeah. Damn it. 10% miss. Really? Okay, there we go. Mana Buzz goes down. Next up, we have the Two Cannon. 
I don't know what else he has. I mean, I'm like... I'm willing to use the Z my Z-move on it, but... I kind of feel like your last Pokemon is going to be Tropius. Yeah, you're going to go for the Beak Blast. It is a, it is a Flying-type move, but it is also physical. Doesn't matter! Paralyzed said, Hack says, nah uh uh You ain't burning me! It wouldn't burn it anyway, because Thunderbolt's not a contact move, but you know what I mean. Java goes level 56. And Kate Upton is too. Alright, next up is Oracorio. Ooh. You're probably... Yeah, aren't you the... Don't you have the fire type? Yeah, which is like one of the stupidest things. Like, why would you have the fire type Oracorio? Why not electric? So that you have... A Pokemon that is neutral to electric, at least. Anyway, there we go. Judy had to take a hit, but the rest of the team is... We're good. Let's trust in as a member Lee for it seems strength is a real deal. Thank you. I will turn off the XP share, though. You know, I think of being a breath of fresh air to the little battle scene. I was honestly annoyed and Cookie kept pestering me to come here, but I'm glad I did. All right, one down, three to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the new typing one. I'm gonna leave that for the very last. I'll do the rest of them before that. So we're going to Acerola's trial. I gave, um, or Acerola's place. I gave the uh, the Darkinium Z to Lopany, and I also retaught it Brutal Swing, so I can lead out with her. Cause she's the only one who didn't get to level 55. Yeah, yes, we you be no words with the Pokemon League. Boo, that's boring. Hey, you see what I just do this. Let me say her shit. Hold on, hold on a minute. Let's do this. I'm not close enough. Of course I'm not. Yes, yeah, so you can refuse to stop with shooting at seven. He died about seven with E4 just because I asked him. I guess it's about hard enough to make us not being here. Sure. Obviously, they didn't ha They should have asked Hapu to uh, join in here. Obviously, I don't know. You had, because you had two of the three uh, Kahunas here, and obviously Nanu didn't want to, so they brought Acerola. Um, but kind of funny how they did Healy over Hapu. Maybe it's because we ju we literally just fought Hapu. So I don't know. Anyway, we'll go for the brutal swing. Let's see how much we can do. Sweet. I mean, I don't really want to waste my. Z move it right at the beginning if it could be useful somewhere else. It's obviously job. I forgot to turn off the XP share. I said I would and I completely forgot. All right, Judy, you can do this. Take down the bayonet with the brutal swing. Yay, Judy, you did it! Woo! Good for Judy. She took down a ghost type all by herself. All right, next up is Frostlass. Ooh! Didn't mean to stay in. Java counters both of its typings. Let's go for the Darkest Lariat. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know. Darkest Lariat would be more powerful. Because it's a high power, high base power dark type move that's physical. And Incineroar is a better physical attacker. But please break through, Java. Thank you. This probably will one-shot because Frasslast has got blah defense. So, peace, nerd. Bully yourself, 57. Yeesh, I need to turn that off. Next up is a Palosin. Okay. We'll let Kate Upton handle this one. I just realized I said that, but then it's like, wait. This thing is water. I was going to say this thing is water convection, but that raised physical defense, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> now you're a plus four. Nice. And then Ice Beam. Aw, oh, man. You have more than one full restore? At least you didn't waste it on one Pokemon. You wasted them both on the bayonet. Anyway, there goes Palisand. Sweet. Thank you for the crit, Kate. Appreciate you. 57 for her. Next up is the Delmize. Okay. Are right, we gonna let Doctor Who handle this? I was kind of worried if he was gonna use Anchor Shot. Oh, he went for Energy Ball. Okay. I was worried about the Anchor Shot, and I didn't want Judy to get stuck in there. And yeah, we're just gonna go for Spirit Shackle. Doctor Who did learn did learn Brave Bird. I didn't mention that. I forgot what I got rid of. What did I have last episode? 
And finally, Drift Plume. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna let Judy handle it and go for the brutal, uh, the Darkinium Z Brutal Swing. <laughs> I wanna see how much it does. Ooh, Amnesia. Okay, that's fine. Lapani is in a special attacker, even though it's got one hell of a special move pool. Let's go for Black Hole Eclipse. Let's go, Judy. You can do it. Yeah, that didn't do too much. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, I guess this thing may only have a ghost type attacking move. It's only used amnesia so far. And whatever else whatever else moved it used. It didn't Ow. Point being it didn't do too much. So anyways, yay, we did it! Woo! Good job, Judy. I'm very proud of you. Proud of you, my boo my boo little ruppany. Hey speechy she's a man! Second time. Actually I didn't have to fight you the first time. I thought I just spilled coffee, but I didn't. That's lucky. She, I guess my hope being used to me is become a champion myself. Well, I just, it's not that easy for, a, for someone with only one typing to become a champion. What's funny is the three most useless members for the next trial. Um, I have a feeling the last one might be Steel, and that may be why we didn't fight Molaine. Um, did we, I don't think we fought him, at, we didn't fight him at the Weather Institute. So I, I think that may, he may be, uh, part of the Elite Four. But obviously it's my normal type, my electric type, and my, uh, fairy type. Welcome to the Rock Chamber. Didn't I give you a voice like this? I think I tried to give you a voice like this. Welcome to the Rock Chamber. Mm, yeah, yeah. Name Stealer. I ended up giving Lopini the Phytinium Z, so we're gonna do this. No reduction needed. Time to battle me. Okay. I did remember to turn off the XP show, though. Go for me. Alright, we're gonna go, uh, I think, into Kate Upton. I feel that's just my best bet, because obviously Skull being super effective, and uh, Kate Upton being defensive. But I basically scrapped all of its defense IVs, EVs, and I uh, gave it uh, all in special attacks, so this thing can hit like a truck. Um, mainly just because I don't need to... Oh <laughs> Was that a crit? No! Oh my gosh, I love Melotic, dude. Oh, 58 for her, though. That's crazy. What's up next? A cradley. Okay. Uh, I think we'll go into Judy and then swap out. I mean, I'm not even sure what cradley can do that much of. I may just try the jump kick and see how much it does. I may use my Fetinium Z on this thing. That's not bad. I don't think the Fetinium Z will uh, kill it from this range, so maybe I'll go for one more. We're doing it. This is just going to make sure that the Cradley goes down, because another jump kick would put it in the range where she'd use a full restore on it, and then I have to keep attacking it again. I wish in main game you could use more than one team of a battle. That'll be fun. Obviously, in competitive, that would be broken as all hell. Next up is Lycanroc. Okay. Max speed paralyzed hacks should... Uh, kill. Well... I can hope. Oh, you're a defensive like rock. You'll definitely outspeed. That's what I was thinking, trying to say. So I want to look up. I'm just going to... Hold on. We're going to check this. All right. Thunderbolt should do about half. It'll do more than the HP grass will. Crunch. Oh, gosh. Paralyzed hacks. Why do you never live on one, buddy? Like, that starts to get real irritating. Should I have done that? I don't know if it was good to send Job out. Um, oh, I don't know why I didn't expect that. Or why I would even send a fire type out on a rock type when like, or Incineroar is slow as all balls. I'm really bad and make stupid decisions. Alright, bully. He lived two stone edges while I, I revived my other Pokemon so he get the XP from this thing. And then he lived a third and killed the Lycanroc. Bully, you a beast, man. 
Sweet. Next up is a Gigalith. Alright. We'll go into Doctor Who. Because Melotic's already 58. Pretty good damage there, my dude. What are you going to go for? Bulldoze. Okay. That would do, like, nothing to me anyway, because I'm a Grass-type. And it's only, like, base 60 power, and you are not a Ground-type, so you don't get stabbed. The entirety of, like, most of Alola's Pokémon are slow, as all, all balls. And we'll go for Leaf Blade. If you could get a crit, that'd be awesome. I ask he delivers. Thank you, my dude. One more might take it out. Oh! Even at minus one, I still outspeed. Gigalith is slow. It could have gone for something like Roar, if it has that. I don't know, it seems like a Pokemon that would get it. Okay. So what do I do against a Rock Steel type? So let's see how much this does, even though you have the defense boost in the sand. Okay, Sandstorm, go away. Thank you. Alright, let's see how much... I was gonna say, oh, let's use the Waterium Z, but no, I use that. I use my Normalium, or my Phytanium Z. Alright, she's gonna go for definitely another... <sighs> Whatever. So let's hope that you have physical moves, Probo Pass, because you will not touch Kate Upton. Literally. Isn't Paralysis like a 1 in 3 chance now? I've gotten so unlucky with Paralysis on this playthrough. He went for Sandstorm. You motherfucker. Okay, can we get a burn, please? Thank you. Oh my goodness, dude. Stop it. Making me angry. And I get, literally, see my, my parahacks in this. Thank you so much, Kate Upton. I appreciate that. Burn it. Thank you. Oh my, can you stop with the thunder wave, my dude? <laughs> like, that's not even fun at all. It's just such a dumb strategy, okay? Now, I really need... Okay. Kate Upton, I really need to... Thank you. Oh my gosh, finally beat Olivia. Had to make that stupid difficult on me, didn't you? And sweet, there we go. Really lovely, both you and your Pokemon. Thanks. You're such a pretty Pokemon. I love Melotix animations in Pokemon Refresh. Seems like your team could use a trip to Pokemon Center. Better watch out, pal. Thanks, Rotom. You want to heal me up? I don't seem to see looking as I saw when we first met on a call island. Have you experienced this? You'll carry it in your heart forever. It's time for you to move on. Well, this time I'm not scarred from Malo's trial, so... I don't know. Take from that what you will. One of the things I'm most excited for being done with, uh... Will be when we're done with the main game is I can use Megas and I can use a Megalopony and our Lopony will become so much better. Alright, let's see who this is. Am I, am I right? Is it Malane? Hey, Look at that! No. Said a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a What? What said what? What the fuck was that? No. Said Gods said Okay, I don't know exactly what that was, but that was in Discord. Hey, the hey, Malane. Whoa, it's like chainmail or plates, plate armor, something like that. So let me ask me this: so instead of being the league for, I'm looking for Lobata. I guess he would solve the Pokemon League. Is Sophocles gonna take on the challenge? I don't even know what Pokemon he's got. Let's do it. All right, Clefki. We're immediately gonna switch out. We're gonna go into Java. We're gonna, you hear me? I'm going into you, kitty. Alright, you're gonna go for spikes. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. That's gonna be irritating, but... Anyway, Clefki goes down, so that was simple. Mmm, <clears throat> coffee. I gotta turn on my coffee pot so it don't burn. Oh, Metagross. Oh, no. That's a, that's a bad... That's a bad thing. <laughs> what am I going for Metagross, dude? 
Doctor Who, I suppose? But Reflect is up. I'm gonna stay in with Java and see what Java can do, because if I can hit it with, like, a, a good enough flamethrower, it'll do a lot of damage, I think. I was gonna say, I'm, why not fight Tinny Z, but I don't have that. And we dodged the hair arm. Uh, ha hammer arm. That's gonna hurt. That might just straight up Oko. Nope! Sweet. Now I should outspeed you. Yay! Was it Max Roll or Crit? Max Roll. Sweet. Beautiful Java. You the bomb. Bomb diggity. Alright, next up is Doug Trio, so it's gonna be a low one, obviously. Who do I even want to go into, man? I just don't have much for steel types. Especially when Java is weakened. You know what? Oh, thank God you missed the fissure. I saw that, I'm like, oh no, please, no. I wonder, can the can you actually survive with the poker refresh stuff? Can you actually survive an Oko move? That was some pretty good damage, really. Good job, Judy. And reflect and reflect wore off. That would have killed had it not been for the reflect. EQ, that's gonna hurt. Judy, I think you can live it though. Yeah, easily. Please don't miss, please don't miss, thank you. Whew, we did it. Judy, you're a bot. I love I love this Pokemon, dude. It's gonna be so funny just make a lopany. Tangling here, that's fine. I'm gonna definitely switch out after this. Alright, next up is Magnazone. I don't have anyone with a ground type move. I suppose I can go into Doctor Who. Alright, let's see what the low sweep will do to this guy. That's not too bad. Ow. I can live one more flash cannon. So let's see how much this will do. I mean, I'd love if he crit or something like that. Really? Man, oh dear gosh. I was going to Bully. I think Bully off speed. And job is too low in health and it'll take too much damage. Actually, Sp Spikes doesn't check typing, does it? I'm pretty sure... Uh, it's, that's only rocks that does that. Alright, can you do it, Bully? Bully can do it. I love this Pokemon. I actually really, I'm really glad we, I, I got a Gramble. Sweet. Bully goes to level 58. Next up is Bisharp. Alright, we'll go into J Java here, and I'm pretty sure that Spikes isn't check typing. I was originally equating it to... Yeah. Originally quitting it to rocks in my head, and then I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if I'd live it. Alright, well, let's just do it. Let's heal up. Flamethrower should Oko, actually. Maybe Brick Break would have ended, ended up doing more, but this thing has p I tried to combine Pathetic and Pitiful together, but terrible special defense. Anyway, there we go. That cookie should have been an instructator for me to face. Oh yeah, I'm the savior of the world and all that. Just no big deal. No, not Malayne, me. I gave Malayne's voice and it didn't work. I gave myself Malayne's voice and it didn't work. Cool, they tried to stop or stuck members to leave forward. He didn't choose any challenges. Wait for fresh bees, both through Lola. You don't choose challengers. They just gotta, they just gotta come if they wanna. I wonder if the champion's still gonna be Kukui. Sweet. Alright, I'm excited to find who the cha find out who the champion is. I think it's probably still Kukui, if I had to guess. I remember who- did I- did I even guess anyone? I think I guessed it was How, like, originally in Center Moon. Like, I mean, to me that made kind of sense. I was just gonna be, oh, like, going back to X and Y days. Or not X and Y. You know what I mean, red and blue. But I organized the team in the order we- for- of the- the first member of the party to the last of the current party, I should say. Lilitic is also the last overall addition to the party, so, you know. Oh yeah, now you're the Pokemon League champion! Nah, wouldn't it be nice if that was that simple? Just as we're pressing the battle with that title. Yeah, it is still him. Of course that drain is me! Woo! Just kidding. It actually is- I told you! I told you! Let's go! That was completely out of the blue. It's me! You know what? Some kind of hit me after I finally beat my old Grimms in all that serious battle. Kind of my hero, Lily. You and your team, I mean. Because I really look up to you and I want to have a serious battle against you. I want to be able to win against you. So like more fun Pokemon the trainers and all friends get along. They can do something really amazing. I 
That's awesome. That's why we didn't fight him at the base of the mountain. This is a different champion theme remix. Come on! It's 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 a remix of house theme and uh, other things. I can't really tell. It's it's I like it though. It may just be an entire just a remix of house theme. Cause I, I feel like it would kind of combine this like the original champion theme of the games with house theme, but Sweet. Doctor goes level 58. So we'll Judy will get some XP because I revived her. Oh or Java, excuse me. Next up is Crabominable. Okay. Alright, let's go for Bully. Let's let Bully handle this. I'd like to have one Pokemon face off one and knock the knock that one out. I still have the Phytinium Z, which it kinda does suck, but let's go for play rough. Why? I'm sur what? The Dude, I am getting so unlucky with those lives. I mean, I feel like they're supposed to be more common than they are. Let's check out Crabominable's defenses. I'm just, you know what, I'm a calculate, it, whatever. Oh, Crabominable has literally terrible defenses. That's crazy, it's got such bad defenses with such a low speed as well. That may be including... I don't know. No, nope, that wasn't including it. That was just a weird little glitch. But Flare Blitz should... Okay. It's got 77 defense. And that's a max defense Crabominable, too. Not like EV-wise, but IV-wise, because it wouldn't have EVs, because that's... They wouldn't have that. Next up is Vaporeon. Alright, let's go into Paralyze Axe. Baby Doll Eyes, that's fine. I'm not a physical attacker. I don't have any physical moves. I'm gonna just go for one more because he's not a low enough health where the AI will heal. And. Yeah. Can't do much to me. Sweet. I just have all the advantages, my boy. Next up is Tauros. Okay. I think I'm gonna give Judy and her Phytinium Z jump kick uh, a go. You're gonna go for a double edge. I'll probably just wait up and take it. No, Judy, Judy's a beast, bro. Cute charm. And that should. Yeah, and you take a good amount of recoil, too. Man, I love, I literally, Lopunny's so much better than I thought it was. Like, its attack stat is pretty abysmal. When it becomes mega Lopunny, it's so good, and it's already got good defenses. Because it's a normal type, and most normal types do. That's pretty, that's some good damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. I'm wondering if I can quick attack you to a point where you're not, um, low enough to heal. Please be mobilized. Thank you. And I'm going to go for jump kick. Damn it, please live. The affection doesn't go down, so why am I so unlucky? Should have expected that. Ah. And of course, we don't live in one HP. Ooh, he's gonna switch into Noiburn. Alright. I just healed up uh, Doctor Who. I hit the Tauros with a Elite Blade that did like 45%. I might leave that in. We'll see what ha how editing goes. I'm going to Kate Upton, because Kate Upton's my best bet to take this thing on. Kate Upton's such a beast. Oh, thank you for not going for Air Slash again, actually. Because that means I don't flinch. This should out go, yeah. Four times super effective from a max special attack Melotic. And level 59 for my dear Kate Upton. Alright, what's next? This is the Decidueye. Alright. Yeah, let's have our Decidueyes go head to head. Let's do it. Look at the contrast of the two. I don't know if I really like shiny Decidueye that much. Or, I mean, at least compared to normal. Shiny Decidueye is definitely not bad at all. I don't know, I think it's the fact that the... Just the, the headdress and whatnot be, uh, turned like that 
too blue? I think if they made it more of a dark green color, why did that do so much more damage than mine? That's the perfect decidui with max attack. What? What is this shit, man? Thank you, Judy. Perfect timing. Thank you for the crit. Perfect timing for the crit. Ooh, actually, that's a good idea. I'm gonna let it kill itself. I'm gonna just keep healing up. I was gonna use, like, heal up and then use a roto power. But I don't even need to at this point. Has he used him full restore? I don't remember. Alright, I'm back to neutral attack, so I think this jump kick might take it out. We'll see, though. Please don't miss, Judy. Now would be a terrible time for a miss. Thanks. And we did it! We beat Ha! Woo! Is that a crit? Nope. Sweet. We did it! We're gonna keep moving forward and staying in full power all the time. Thank you. I don't even know what I was gonna do. I think I was gonna do, like, a heart symbol, but... And I'm like, I'm gonna pull up something pretty amazing. My partners and I were all in sync and wanting the same thing. Looks like we're still one step away from being the strongest trainer on our team. You know what's funny? Even though we lost, I was just more excited than any other battle I've had till now. If things all mixed up, it was just so fun and frustrating. It's just, yeah, but it was awesome, really. Amazing, you and Howard both amazing, Olivia. It's like it's such a strongest moves are the ones that train her and their Pokemon juice together to heat the moment when it really counts. Uh, let's see, did I use my fight to MZ? I did. Was that on the Tauros? I don't remember. I think it was, actually. You just put me right. Congrats, cuz you're champion. We can all be proud of. Told you didn't have that Mahukalani. Man, Pokemon trainers and Lola are really the best. I want everyone in the world to know that. That's always been my dream. Right here, right now, finally came true. It's all thanks to you, Lydia. You and your Cinnaroar. No. No. Me and my Lopany. Lopany is my starter. <laughs> it's my spiritual starter. I'm sad we got the Flaming Out battle here right where my dreams came true. And now, Lydia, first ever champion the Lola Pokemon next time record you and your beloved team's achievement for eternity. Yay. Java, level 58, our starter. Judy, Lopany, my one of my basically my favorite Pokemon on the team. Doc 2, a dope Pokemon I got from Eric. Paralyze Axe, a dope Pokemon that I bred from a Pokemon I got from Eric. Bully, a Pokemon I bred myself. And then Kate Opton, a competitive Milotic I brought in. Cause why not? Man, I really wish that they did the whole portrait thing, but like they had you, then they had this the images of your Pokemon behind you, and then they did all the confetti and stuff, like they did in uh, Sacred Gold and whatnot. There we go! We got the final sticker. Well, did we? Maybe. You mean you have your Pokemon? Hi, oh, don't you? Now, it's possessed. We'll see in the Pokemon that was combined with strength and much victorious. Now we're all gonna be aiming for you to see. I'll be ready for some rivals. But you don't actually ever challenge me, so. Come on, Alulia. So, what's up, where you can win Alulia's first ever champion together with everybody? Well, Graham said he'd have, uh, he'd have an awesome party on Master Wiz Rules with the Yub Dib Yub. Well, he didn't say anything. Wonder why. Oh, wait, it is supposed to use for many, many I had a big festival in Egypt, and don't worry, I should have let them know too. I don't really care if you do or not. Lulu's up on Mahalo Trail, I think. Well, I mean, she was. I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot like the festival at the end of the of the originals. That's cute. Here she is the first Pokemon League champion from Alola. 
This calls for celebration, so let's get to it. It's Gladiator buying the tree this time instead of uh, Nanu. Was he there last time? I, I like. I, I feel like I'm pretty sure that's Nanu. Oh, we actually see inside the Team Skull base. Are they deciding to actually disband Team Skull? Because here come the two admins. Yeah, he crossed out Skull on his back. He's done. And she changed her hat. She looks like Flannery now. A little bit. Not really, though. I'll be cutting through a lot. Oh, and then they change into the punk clothing. Nice. <laughs> hey, look, there they are. Finally back at the place that they were last game. So maybe Zekrom will have. Not Zekrom. Freaking Zygarde will have some sort of role. I do have a 10% Zygarde I got in a Wonder Trade in the original games. After I... Because I had Moon, and then I had to Wonder Trade mine up. What? Whoa! That's down where, um... Guzzlord was. Whoa! Place we haven't been yet. There's Colrus. So does, I wonder, does he become part of the Ultra Recon Squad? That would make sense. And there's Faba. Colrus could be... Lily and... Yeah, Nanu's there this time, next to the fire, rather than the very back behind the tree where he was last game. This time, that's where she is. <laughs> but I was just realizing, like, Koros has blonde hair and green eyes. I didn't realize that. I mean, obviously I knew he had blonde hair. I don't think I knew he had green eyes, though. And Wick's trying to convince him to not leave. He's like, go be all edgy and stuff. This cutscene is a lot more substance than the last one. The last one was just people at the party. But this is this shows us everything that's happening. So I wonder, he, it's going to be him going to Kanto instead of uh, Lily, isn't it? There's Lusamine. Seeing him off. Again, she just changed so drastically, so quickly. That there's no real sort of conclusion. Because in the last game, she got captured, so you went with Lily to save her. And after rescuing her, um... E she realized that even though how bad she'd been to Lily, Lily still cared for her, and the fact that, um, and then she began to change her ways and had to be rehabbed, and that's why they took her to Kanto, originally. Tepakoko is calling to me. Okay, so I do get a choice. I get to come back later. There he is. We'll do an episode of Catching the, uh, catching the Tapus. <laughs> okay. Well, um, yeah. My water glass got stuck to my coaster.
Yeah, Junichi is a producer. That's what I thought. He's also like the music. He does all the music, I think. At least he did. Look at Devin's so fired up. Woo! You have the brave little as strong as ever trying to celebrate after all. <laughs> my last time we keep working hard is being totally sick. My partner is pulling my Pokemon's full power. And then I'm coming for you, champion Lilia. Lilia! Sorry, I mean champion. Shevin wants to hear us see your partners too. Come and show us his partners. There were some of your discoveries, new experiences, and adventures on your island challenge. I mean, everyone except for Melotic and Gramble has been there from quite far. You're positively glowing. It's, all of them have been here since Akala Island except for the last two. And those last two slots were the ones I rotated. Uh, well, no, I got Pikachu at the Aether Base before we challenged the Aether Base. I like, I really, this is really cool though, how the, they're, these are going to be the different totem Pokemons that come up. They've got these like, uh, overworld-esque sprites that are, that are dancing, and I like it. They're very nice. Alright, I want to get the, uh, little stuff out of the way before we move, for, before the next episode. Looks like you slept well, Olivia. Sup, pal. Alola! Celebrate sang, sang to me and brought me here to you. Shiny. Oh, and I can't tell you, Meowth. Look at Shiny Queen in your head, kitty kitty. Meowth, you too. Oh, by the way, we're pretty interesting people looking for you too. Looking for you too, Olivia. So come on, let's get out of there. Champion Lola doesn't get to stay inside all day. And that's what we'll end the episode, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate it. Next episode will, episode will be getting the post game. We'll be beginning the post. The jeez, I cannot speak right now. We'll be beginning the po post game of, the, of Ultra Sun and Moon, and hopefully it'll be interesting enough to keep me engaged. Um, yeah. So that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate it. Subscribe for more. Talk to you later.